What's good guys, it's Zeus, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna to be working on the Chevy Avalanche. I'm going to be replacing uh, the speakers, uh, the front door speakers uh, in the Avalanche. If that's something you wanted to see in my, uh, that what, what was once a DOA Chevy Avalanche, stay tuned, but cue the intro. Okay, so like I said, we're going to be working on the my my Chevy Avalanche. Uh, basically, what we're going to be doing is just replacing the door speakers. My door speakers were extremely uh, jacked up when I first bought this truck. The speakers were actually blown. It was nothing but static. You really couldn't turn it up loud, and that was very depressing. So with all the time I have, I've decided that um, I'm going to go ahead and replace them. So what I did was I went on, I believe I ordered them on Amazon. I ordered two uh, 6x5 uh, speakers from Amazon. I think I paid like 57 bucks for these and they fit fine. I've already done one side. It's actually really, really freaking easy. Uh, I don't know why I didn't record it. And then after I showed my wife, I was like, ah, I probably should have recorded it. So we're gonna get it done on this side. I'm gonna show you guys how I go about replacing everything. So let's get to it. Okay, so as you guys can see, you got that off. Uh, the speaker is right here, and I'm gonna give you guys a quick close up on it. It looks absolutely generic and garbage. So let's take a look at it. Okay, so this is what we have right here. It's a six by five pile, I'm guessing. Um, I don't know what that is, pile of crap, pile of, shh, I don't know, but never heard of the brand before. If it's a uh, name brand, must have not been the brand I'm familiar with. But this is a blown speaker. It's completely trashed. Um, so I'm gonna take it out. Looks like it's got some self-tapping screws uh, put in. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take that out. I'm gonna have to redo the wires. I'm sure whoever put the wires in, they did a crap job. Um, so I know I'm gonna replace those with a, where's my harness? I'll show you guys, I have a lot of, you guys can see I have a lot of crap. Sorry, it's dark in here. Um, let me find my harness. So this is the little wiring harness that came with the speakers. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this wired up, uh, get that speaker out and then get this wired up and we'll go from there. Okay, so I don't know if you guys even saw that, but this one wasn't even connected. <laughs> it, it's not even connected. It wasn't connected to anything. It was just sitting in there. Uh, they did such a terrible job that it honestly just slipped out. 
So um, that's a first. That is honestly a first for me. It's not even, if you look right here, it's not even connected. Like it's just <laughs> completely trashed, man. Um, so yeah, I guess we know what pile stands for. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get those speaker wires fixed. Okay guys, sorry the video got interrupted. I got a phone call in the middle of the video. But uh, basically all I did was I have these little uh, these little connectors that uh, when you, they have heat wrap around them and in the, inside of them, if it'll shrink, you can see there's some solder. So once you um, once you apply heat to that, it shrinks the, the heat wrap around the wire and the solder in the middle melts. So you get the same effect as if you were having a soldering gun and heat wrap all in one. I bought these on Amazon, man back when I was living in Columbus. So uh, these things are lights in, are our godsend, basically almost said a lights in, they're godsend. And uh, they make life a whole lot easier. Um, I've, I'm not good at soldering. Actually, I can't say I'm not good. I've never done it before, but these make it to where it's foolproof. So I just take my little uh, baby torch. Uh, I have a heat gun, but I don't feel like getting it. So I'll just take my little hand torch and heat these up like so. You really don't want to, when you're using an open flame like this, is really not recommended. I'm pretty sure we'll have a lot of uh, pros in the comment section that would advise against it. But thank God I'm working on my car and not theirs. So uh, that solder will break down on both sides. Get the other one now. And that heat wrap is, is shrinking. Like I said, it's definitely not ideal. You probably don't want to be applying heat open flame to, to your uh, wires like I am. But like I said, it's my car. I'm comfortable with that risk. So let me take a look. Looks like the solder is good. Yep, so we got that right over where I want it. Give it a little bit more. Get that solder to break down a little bit more. There we go. Give me that effect I'm looking for. All right, that should do it. Yeah. Yep, there we go. So that's all we needed. Now I can take my kicker speaker like so. So you just match the, you see there's one, uh, there are two di very distinct shapes. So all you're gonna do is, ooh, almost dropped it. All you're gonna do is have your wires match up to those shapes so like for example this one slides right on here like so oops almost bent it there we go that one slides on there like so and then this one as you guessed it slides on here just like this one i just noticed that the wiring is running underneath the thing so i have to take these right back off yay all right i guess that worked pretty 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 not bad looks pretty good so we got everything hooked up um got the door panel put on nice and tightly and uh i didn't clean it you guys it just naturally looks that good so we got everything hooked up man so it should be ready to go now all right so everything's hooked up the dash bezel looks terrible that's really not that big of a deal i'll just like i said i'll reverse it later who cares but Let's get to the magical moment where I show you guys, or I let you guys listen to my new speakers. So I have some copyright free music. Oh, let me scan down the comment section and make sure they're still saying that this is free. Okay, yeah, now, okay, so it's still free. So let's go ahead and give it a real quick play.
So looks like it was a success. New kicker speakers inside the DO Avalanche. I'm calling that a wrap. That's it. All right, guys, and that's gonna do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, it's about time I got a little bit of beat up in this uh, very beautiful vehicle. All in all, at least the speakers work. They hit very nicely because my wife and I listened to some good old fashioned uh, copyrighted music afterwards and it went through all the tempos pretty well just to be six point, uh, six and a half uh, inch speakers. So pretty, pretty stoked about that. But that's all I have for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, comment below. I literally have a whole, two whole, shelves full of parts that i have to put on this car and i'm trying to get them all done before i return to my job from furlough so i have a lot of stuff and a lot of material that i'm going to be cranking out uh relatively fast just to get so i can get stuff done so i can introduce the newest build but i don't want to introduce that build until i finish this so once i get everything off the shelf i'll have my my daily will be set and um Outside of, I have to beg Matt from Just Wrench It to help me do a little, a little bit of welding uh, in one little, in the light, actually two spots on the uh, on, on this avalanche. So outside of that, it'll be pretty much done, um, and that'll be that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, comment below. Um, don't have anything for you guys to vote on, but this video, I should be dropping another one pretty soon. Right after this one, it won't be two weeks or nothing like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, I'm out. This is... I'm Black Zeus. This is my channel. Like and subscribe, comment below. And remember, three letters, B-Z-G. I'm out.